I'm Julia Sondu, showing you where development is happening. Please come and join us. Burkina Faso's military rulers say coup attempt foiled, plotters arrested. Military prosecutor says four arrested, two on run following reports that a coup attempt was thwarted by security services. A coup attempt against Burkina Faso's military rulers has been thwarted by the country's intelligence and security services, authorities said. Burkina Faso's military rulers said in a statement on Wednesday that army officers and others had planned to seize power and plunge the country into chaos. Officers and other alleged actors involved in this attempt at destabilization have been arrested and others are actively sought, a spokesman for the ruling military Rimtalba Jean Emmanuel Wedraugo said in a statement without providing details. The latest coup attempt occurred on Tuesday, according to the statement. The military government said it would seek to shed all possible light on this plot, and that it regretted that officers whose oath is to defend their homeland have strayed into an undertaking of this nature. The country's military prosecutor later said that four people had been arrested and two were on the run. An investigation has been opened based on credible allegations about a plot against state security implicating officers, the prosecutor said. Earlier this month, the military prosecutor said three soldiers had been arrested and charged with plotting against the ruling military government of Captain Ibrahim Traoré who seized power in September 2022, eight months after an earlier military coup had overthrown the democratically elected president Rock Mark Kabore. Burkina Faso's capital city Ouagadougou appeared calm on Wednesday evening following the military's announcement of an attempt to topple it. Thousands of pro-military government demonstrators took to the streets of Ouagadougou and elsewhere on Tuesday to show their support for the country's military rulers following a call from Traoré supporters to defend him amid rumors of a mutiny circulated on social media. On Monday, French news magazine Jeune Afrique was suspended from publishing what the military said was an untruthful article that reported tension and discontent within the armed forces. One of a growing number of West African countries where the military has seized power, army officers in Burkina Faso have taken control amid public discontent as armed groups linked to Al-Qaeda and ISIL ISIS, have launched a rebellion that has destabilized the country and its neighbors in West Africa's Sahel region. More than two million people have been uprooted by the fighting in Burkina Faso, making it one of the worst internal displacement crises in Africa. Last week authorities claimed nearly 192,000 internally displaced people had returned to their homes after various regions were retaken by government forces, though rebel attacks continue unabated despite claims of the military winning back territory. More than 50 Burkinabe soldiers and volunteer fighters were killed in clashes with rebels in early September, the heaviest losses in months, the latest that add to the thousands of civilians and troops that have in rebel attacks in recent years according to organizations monitoring the conflict. Why has Burkina Faso had two coups in a year? Burkina Faso's coup and political situation. All you need to know about the first coup. New military leader Traoré says Paul Henry de Miba was removed due to his inability to deal with a worsening armed uprising in the country. On September 30th, Burkina Faso military leader President Paul Henry de Miba was deposed in the country's second coup in a year, as Army Captain Ibrahim Traoré took charge, dissolving the transitional government and suspending the constitution. The 34-year-old Traoré said on Friday evening that a group of officers had decided to remove de Miba due to his inability to deal with an armed uprising in the country that has worsened in the past nine months. De Miba resigned from his post fleeing to neighboring Togo, Tensions have been high in Burkina Faso, with clashes occurring between protesters and security forces. Here are the key details of all that has happened. How did things get here? On January 24, Burkina Faso's army, led by Demiba, announced it had deposed President Roque Kabore after more than six years in power, following several days of unrest in the capital Ouagadougou. Demiba cited the failure of the Kabore administration to unite the country and control the deteriorating security situation as reasons for ousting the civilian government. Since 2015, 
Burkina Faso has been caught up in an escalating wave of violence attributed to rebel fighters allied to both Al-Qaeda and the ISIL ISIS, group. Thousands of people and further displacing two million. Analysts have said this has made it the new epicenter of conflict in the Sahel. While the move sparked some celebration among anti-government protesters, international actors expressed concern about the move, including nations the United States and France. The West African Regional Bloc Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS, suspended Burkina Faso from the organization, demanding the Damiba-led government hold elections as soon as possible. What happened under Damiba's rule? Despite Damiba's promises to improve the security situation in the country, the crisis worsened under his government. According to the Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Project ACLED, attacks by armed groups increased by 23% in the five months after former leader Damiba took over. In June, Mamadou Issafu, former president of Niger and a mediator between Burkina Faso and ECOWAS said Ouagadougou only controlled 60% of the country and the remaining territory was outside state control. Demiba was also criticized for seemingly taking a more pro-France stance in working together with the former colonizer to root out armed groups, as anti-France sentiment has risen in former colonies. Some in the country have argued the government should seek help from Moscow, mirroring the route neighboring Mali has taken in allowing the private Russian mercenary firm Wagner Group to operate within its borders. On the economic front, the UN highlighted Burkina Faso, a country of 16 million people, as one of several West African nations facing an alarming level of hunger with the country facing the worst hunger crisis in six years with more than 630,000 people on the brink of starvation. Blockades of towns by armed groups have made it difficult for aid to reach those in need, the UN has said. Who is Demiba's successor, Ibrahim Traoré? Prior to being catapulted to the highest office in the land after overthrowing Diemiba, Traoré was a relatively low-ranking officer running an artillery regiment in a small northern town. Little else is known of the 34-year-old and his supporting officers, he has claimed that he will not hold power for too long. In an interview with French state broadcaster RFI, Traoré has said a national conference will appoint a new interim leader by the end of the year, one who could be civilian or military, and honor an agreement with West Africa's regional bloc and oversee a return to civilian rule by 2024. We did not come to continue, we did not come for a particular purpose, he said. All that matters when the level of security returns is the fight, its development. On September 27, 2023, Burkina Faso Junta says it foiled coup attempt. Burkina Faso's security and intelligence services foiled a coup attempt on Tuesday, according to the country's military government. It alleged that officers and others had planned to destabilize the country and throw it into chaos. It has been almost a year since the interim president Captain Ibrahim Traoré seized power. That was the country's second coup of 2022, which took place amid a growing Islamist insurgency. In a statement read out on television on Wednesday evening, the authorities said some arrests had been made and they were actively pursuing other suspects, without giving specific details. The military prosecutor has since said that four officers have been detained. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.